I'm just going to show you how I would do it from start to finish. Okay? So first, after I reject all of the ideas that might occur to me because I see the square root, because I see some other elements and I hope for some simple solution, and I don't see it, I would then move on to anti-simplification, which in this case would be splitting up x to the 5 in some kind of advantageous way. And I would see it as splitting up as x cubed and x squared. x cubed, because that's another element here, and then fortunately what's left is x squared, which is the derivative of x cubed. So I'm very happy about that. If this was x to the 6th, I would have no idea how to do this integral. If this was any other power other than 5 and 2, this integral would be much more difficult than it is. Okay, so then I see this, and I recognize it as the derivative of x cubed with an extra coefficient of 1 third that I need to put in. And now, because I promised that I will do this exercise like I would do it, I will actually not switch to u, because I consider that to be an extra step that's not needed. x cubed is simple enough that I can deal with it. I just think of it as a single symbol, just like u. Okay, so now I look at this, and I realize I still have a problem. If I didn't have a 7, I'd be golden, because it's just some power. Okay, if this was x cubed plus 7 then I would combine it into a single power, and then I would be golden also. But I have the something in between business, so I still have to do something. So I have to split it into two pieces. I have to make it x plus 7 and minus 7, just so that if I put parentheses like this, I will have a match, so to speak. So this is what I have. I now have one third integral, and now I will combine it into a single power, because this is x cubed plus 7 to the power 3 halves. Minus 7 The rest is pretty straightforward. Let's keep 1 third outside. We'll just take an extra step to simplify so that you don't, you don't start wondering where did all these coefficients come from. No problem here. If this was x cubed, yada, 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 dx, then it's a totally different thing. But here, x cubed is not really x cubed, it's just a variable. That's how this notation really helps you do it. So I have to put 5 halves here, okay, minus, and now all I have to do is simplify the coefficients. I get 215 here, 